<laughs> Guys, hurry. Vecna's after you. Comment below what song do we need to play to get you out? Hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are back with Stranger Things. Uh, thank goodness I'm not out of breath. That'd be embarrassing, right? right. But anyways, I just ran a half mile because Beckner's on my ass. Right. So what song do we play for you? No, I'm just playing. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't that song. That was obnoxious. Uh, we didn't play a song. We played some uh, some Bach. <laughs> but anyways, what they play for you? Um, I don't know. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what's that song that's going to get you out of trouble. Let's go, man. This season's been unbelievable. It's so scary, and I'm ready for some Stranger Things. Man. Me too. Mm. He might be a goner. More pressure. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gotta get us to St. Mary's! I don't think Ray's gonna help that dude! This is like Reservoir Dogs. St. Mary's Hospital. Oh, Owens. So, Owens, okay. The girl. She's in danger. Okay, how, how do we find oh. Owens? Nina. Nina, who's Nina? Who's Nina? Spawn. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Nina. Shit. This is a number. 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 Get, get, number. We can, we can call this Nina. Break, Break the number! Hey! Look at me! Oh, no. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Why is it so quiet back there, huh? Damn, it'd have been hard to find somebody back then. Easy, man. Huh? Talk to me! Shit! <gasps> this is stressful. Argyle, Argyle, get off the road! Now! Oh. Get on the road! That man got caught up with the wrong crowd. He don't even know it. I know, he's like, yo, they didn't invite me to the party. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you're looking for something, making a mess while you're looking might be inefficient. Or this is the quick way. Oh no. Listen, I know she was just here. And if you want to live, you're going to tell me where she is. Wow. Oh no. If she knew how crazy it is out there, she would not be napping. Apologies for the bumpy They're looking ride, for her. Carol. That would have paved the road, but kind of ruins the whole top secret location thing. Did you get some rest? A little. Good. I have a feeling you're gonna need it. I was about to say, that poor thing, she's probably exhausted. She's been through it. I need her to get her powers back, though. I'm yeah. kind of tired of powerless cell. Yeah, me too. It kind of takes away from the excitement of the show, in a sense. Um, if you think about it, in season one, they didn't need Elle to defeat the thing, because she was like, remember? They, they kind of did it. It was good. It's crazy. They really have things like this in real life. I know. They have it on GTA, too. Let me know, guys. Are y'all going in? That is so creepy. <laughs> like, the creepiest. You didn't really think we were working out of a shed, did you? This place is about to be crazy, isn't it? So I realized Dr. Owens is uh, on her side. I thought he was working for the other side, but then he did that whole trickery. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I trust them, but we'll see. You built all this? Well, more gave it a facelift. Do you know what an ICBM is? It stands for Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. It's a fancy bomb. We used to store them underground in these silos, but we haven't used this one in years. In fact, there's, there's no bomb here at all. It's just a big old empty space. So we repurposed it to hold something much more powerful than a missile, you. Sounds like a prison built for her. They're bigger than Madonna to them. They've all given up their lives, their, their jobs, their families to come work on this program because they believe in the cause. Oh. They believe in you. Believe in her to do what, though? Close the portal. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a bunch of awfully nice people, huh? We call her Nina. What is it? If we told you, it would ruin the surprise. Uh -oh. No way. Hello, Eleven. Papa. I know. This man's so damn creepy. You're frightened of me. Perhaps in our time apart, you may have even grown to hate me. But all I've ever wanted to do is to help you. But you see Owens, he's not even looking at him. Your gift's been stolen. I believe I know why, and I believe I know how to get them back. Let us work together again, you and I, daughter and papa. Do you think he was actually there? Because I don't. What do you mean? I don't think Papa was there. I don't think that was real. Just now? Why? I don't know, because the way Owens was looking. Play nice with the doctor. Hmm? Nah, dude, Owens just trapped her in there. He played nice. And so he was looking away because he was guilty. 
So you're saying that you thought he was like not there because the way Owens was. Well, I thought. The the well, first of all, I thought he's dead because I've done seen him get his face chopped right. off. Right, no, he's he's alive. Now what happened was he played. Not, they were playing good cop, bad cop. So good cop, we were down there. Oh, you're bigger than so and so. You're a celebrity, but really you're a prisoner. And yeah. As soon as she realized that Papa was there, all the shame flooded. Oh, okay. In. He, he couldn't bear to look at the situation. Okay. Because look at her now, she's a prisoner. Yeah, I did not look at that like that. But he but played yeah, her I up see like, what you're saying, like he though. was nice. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Ding. No. I'm sorry, Eleven. This is not how I wanted things to begin, but everything's going to be all right. You're home now. Yeah, the reason he looked at him like that was because that guy outranks him. And he felt guilty, yeah. Right. That's why I told you I don't know if I could trust his ass. Man. I would never make it. I trust everybody. You remember the first time I came over? I didn't even trust you wanting me to come in through the basement. Crazy as hell. <laughs> How you feeling? Did your nose stuffed up? Beyond. What about yours? Oh, great. So far, this has been my favorite season, I think. It, it's so hard. It's so hard. Because there's parts about it that I like more than all the other seasons, but there's parts that I don't like more than the other seasons. Mm. That makes sense. All right, chapter five, guys. The Nina Project. What I tell you, American? No run. You don't listen. Now is going to be much pain. How are they going to get out, too? That's yeah, I kind of hate knowing Hopper's character is getting tortured in a gulag. Like for what? I didn't see that coming early on. It could be worse, American. At least you have company. Enzo. <sighs> that sucks, man. Your eyes don't deceive you. I'm a prisoner now, like you. You're either smuggler. He betrayed me. Betrayed us. You said we could trust him. Die. You swore to me. He doesn't believe we could. You think this is what I planned? I have lost everything, everything. We both knew the risks. Both of us. We gambled today and we lost. Mm. No. Hey, I just figured out how Hopper's gonna get out. Eleven. She's gonna find him. You think so? What about Joyce? Why the long faces? Are you not excited for your journey across the Iron Curtain? Yuri, I have a family. I have three kids waiting for me. Did you know peanut butter is banned in Motherland? I buy for dollar thirty here, sir, for twenty dollars there. Your mother must be very proud. <laughs> My mother is dead. He's a peanut butter flipper. <laughs> Tired of living like a bum. You see, Yuri has family too. And with money I earn from selling you, I will buy her a new house. I will buy my daughter a pony. Whatever they desire from now on, they will have. And yes, for that, my mother will be very, very proud. Dang. All time, this is not American Airlines. It's going to get a bit choppy. <laughs> and it's like blizzarding. There's definitely a blizzard. So they thought he should have been locked up still. His name's not Rick though, it's Eddie. Who's Rick? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think he's just in someone's house. Oh, I see. Maybe his dad, because he lives with his uncle. Eddie, he banished. You there? Hey, it's Nancy. Wheeler, hey. I'm going to need a food delivery, like, really soon, unless you want me going out into the world. No, 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 don't do that. Stay where you are, and we'll be there as soon as we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, um, can you pick me up a six-pack? I know, it's stupid as shit, drinking right now. That's in! Mm. Wake up! What? Aren't oh. you supposed to be on Max Watch? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, then Sorry. where oh, is she? Oh, shoot. She's right there. A second ago, I swear I just dozed off for no. Morning, guys. So she was panicking for nothing. Everything mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, everything's okay. I think it's so sweet that you guys are sticking together like this. <laughs> Could try What's up with her hair? Together at a different house for a change. <laughs> oh, she's drawing it. You okay? I just couldn't sleep. People kept blasting music in my ears for some reason. But <laughs> Holly let me borrow some of her crayons. We've been having a fun morning, right, Holly? Is this what you saw last night? I mean, it's supposed to be. I thought it'd be easier to draw it out than to explain it, but not so much. Is that? It was like they were on display or something. 
And then there was this red fog everywhere. It was like a dream. That clock, a nightmare. though. Do you think that like that's just key. trying to scare you? With Billy? Yeah. But when I made it here, I don't know, something was different. He seemed surprised, almost. Like he didn't want me there. Maybe you infiltrated his mind. He invaded your mind, right? Is it that big of a leap to suggest you somehow wound up in his? Like Freddy Krueger's boiler room. Freddy Krueger? There we He's go. He's a super burned up dude with razors for fingers, and he kills you in your dreams. Dustin, seriously? And she's Nancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just think about it. What if you somehow unlocked a back door to Vecna's world? Like, maybe the answer we're looking for is somewhere in this incredibly vague drawing. God, we need Will. Yeah, no shit. But I tried them again this morning and- He said he needs the Will. Same busy signal. Is this a That's stained glass, yeah. yeah. Stained glass with roses. Yeah. See, I'm not so terrible after all. Yeah, well, it helps that I've seen it before. Man, I'm just so glad Max is with us, guys. Like, y'all have no yes. idea. Yes, I would have lost my freaking mind. Okay, Nance. It's what is it I know we've seen it. Is it Victor Krill's? It's Victor yeah. Krill's house. I'm going. Waking the others. Sorry, fuel for the road. Thanks, Mr. Wheeler. <laughs> Mr. Wheeler actually hates them. <laughs> Take us for all we're worth, why don't you? That's how my friend Michael's dad was across the street growing up. He would just make those comments. Right, but a part of me thinks that he really meant it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> All her hair's off. Oh, it's a- It's a picture that she drew in the past, probably. Yeah, but is this like a flashback or? No, they just decorated her room for her. <sighs> That's Jack. <laughs> At least she's not locked in though. This is a flashback. Like a dream? Yeah, it's like all their rooms right there. That's the creepiest room I've ever seen in my life. I know, that puzzle too, that looks almost impossible. Look who finally decided to join us. Someone's a sleepy head this morning. Where am I? I guess he copied you're still your shirt. Awake, huh? Am I in Hawkins? Well, well. Look who finally decided to join us. What in the heck is going Someone's on? Sleepy head this morning. What is this like a loop? She must be in a dream, obviously, like you said. Don't go too far, sleepy head. Lessons begin promptly at ten. You're creepy, sleepy head. If I was her, I'd never go back in there. Mm -mm. Uh, oh, an exit. Yeah, she's dreaming. There ain't about to be no exit. <gasps> a loop. It's a loop. Like on Dr. Strange. Well, Maybe well. this is her H-E-L-L. -E Look who finally decided to join us. Heart rate's now 120 BPM. She's rejecting it. Give her time. Uh, you shouldn't have just thrown her in there like this. She's going to drown in there. No, she is going to swim. Oh, so they have her back in the tank. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay, this is so messed up. What? Okay. Oh, yo, dude's probably got like a family and kids and all that shit. I think we gotta go to the cops with this man. We gotta lay it all out. He needs to go smoke, mommy. Don't open the bed cover and do the upside down dimension plan thing. No. <laughs> Just don't try. I want to get to you. He's stunned out of his mind. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. Upside down, Dro. Upside down. That guy would have lived one more second. We wouldn't know where she is. Why didn't he just say the number? Hey, does anybody know the dead dude's name? What? Dead dude. I'm making him a headstone. Then you do realize we spent all morning hiding the body. Well, I'll, I'll just write, uh, here lies unknown hero agent man. Yeah, saved. Argyle, Jonathan, Will, and Mike from certain death. <laughs> You're gonna write our names on the pizza box. Pretty common name. Okay, dude. Uh, dear thing. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like that's a disaster. He's starting to wonder why he's friends with Emma at this point. That's his pen. What? The guys. Unknown hero agent man. That's that's the pen he gave me right before he died. It has something in it. Open it up. I'd be like, well, maybe he didn't know it wasn't going to work. Um, maybe he doesn't test his pen every hey, morning. Man, I'm using no, you, you just scrape the bottom of your shoe. What are you doing? And it always works. Show fell out of that pen, man. Well, what is it? Nina, it's the number. We've had it this whole time. They got his digits, man. Perfect. That's from their dart. Psst. Hey, Ivan. Russian dart. Ivan. Man, you better not be talking to him. You're gonna end up in there with him. He's gonna take your face. Ты <laughs> 
Gli dici il tavolo di calza? Un bagaccio. Un milioniere. Tell him American. Tell him how you will make him rich. <laughs> he lives in a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> by choice, though. In Indiana. That's a by choice trailer. Maybe. I don't know. He's the chief. Really I don't know the American, salary. You know that. A real help. You want to die in here? You want to die? Is that it? That's what we've been brought here to do. So that is it. You give up then? What about your woman, hmm? She's captured, yes, but still alive. We can still save her. Save her? That is amusing to you. You don't get it, dude. You don't get it. The closer I get with Joyce, the more danger she's in. Mm -hmm. You're not thinking straight, American. No, I think I am. You know, for the first time in my life, I think I'm thinking straight. No. I used to think I was cursed. Ever since I was 18. There's some letter of induction in the mail. Uncle Sam wants me to go fight some war in the jungle. Charlie's moving south like a plague because of commie bastards like you. And, you know, I'm happy enough to go. Prove to my old man I'm not the piece of shit he thinks I am. I get over there. I must test well. And they put me in the chemical core. There I am. I'm just a kid, you know, I'm 18 years old. Yeah, made that story. Miles away, and mm -hmm. I'm mixing up these 55 gallon drums of Agent Orange. Just these kitchen gloves, you know. I used to clean out these buffalo turbines after. To run, you'd just be inhaling this stuff. No mass, no, it's not chemical warfare, it's just herbicide, kill plants. Mm. Harmless, that's what they told us. And then I got back to real life, and these guys I worked with, the ones that made it back, they started trying to get back to normal, you know, having families, and then things started going wrong. That's what happened to his daughter, the Agent Orange. Crooked spines, eyes popped out. That's crazy, man. What in the world? The horror followed us, clung to us. My wife, Diane, she wanted a baby. I did too. We had a baby and she was, um, she was born healthy. She was perfect, you know, Sarah. And then she died. It wasn't an easy death. She suffered. I knew the risk, but I, um, I hid them. Wow, that's crazy. And Diane left me. She didn't blame me, but not with words. After that, I was just, I just hid myself in drugs and alcohol. And then people started coming into my life. This girl Elle and Joyce just happened, and I told myself they needed me. But that wasn't true. That's a lie. They didn't need me. I needed them. <laughs> You were right what you said last night. I knew the risk. Breaking out of here, but I did it anyway. The minute I sent for Joyce, the minute I sent for her, I sentenced her to death like I did with Sarah. Ouch. Everyone I love, I hurt. See, I was wrong this whole time. I wasn't cursed. I am the curse. Oh my gosh. Hey, this is what they need to get out, though. What, they need that? The There's dark? There's no of a monster from America. We are going to die in here. Yeah, maybe if they can get that thing and turn it loose, kill all the guards. I don't know, just throwing stuff out there. I don't know how they can do that. Right. That's crazy that Hopper thinks he's a curse, but there's really a curse, like, mm -hmm. going on. Can I help you? We need to take a look around. Yeah, I think it's some kind of leak. I haven't had a chance to fix it with everything going on. Pack your things. We're moving you. That's crazy as hell. That's an opening right there, huh? Mm-hmm. Or a almost opening. Like a hot spot for one? Yeah. Because that's where Chrissy died. Double this hair. I can feel his presence growing stronger each day. But I know Chrissy's in heaven now, looking down at us, smiling, happy to see all the lives she touched and brightened. But I also know she's frustrated, angry that the monster that did this to her is still out there. Well, her still boyfriend's here and all this. Hurting others. How can he live while my angel is gone? Is that going to happen in the funeral? Because that guy's next. Right. Or maybe because he was out in bloody nose. Sinclair? Goddamn traitor. Uh -oh. Only reason he'd lead us to a dead end. The Hellfire Club. They're hiding Eddie. Maybe we should bring all this to the cops. The cops who think Chrissy's a drug dealer? Who are letting this, this psycho go around killing people? I'm just saying, what if this cult is doing shit to us? Doing what? They already know we're after them. What if they cursed us or some shit? He thinks he's cursed. Hey! None of this is funny. Look, I don't believe in that supernatural crap, all right? But this cult is dangerous. We have to be smart about this. We made a list. Everywhere these freaks have been seen, we divide and conquer. Check them out one by one. Smoke them out. You should add Reefer Rick's house to this. What? Reefer Rick, he's Eddie's supplier. He's supposed to be in prison, but someone spotted him back in his house. Now my parents are freaking out and shit. Mm. It's probably nothing. I don't know. No, that's good. No stones unturned. This kid right here is kind of a jackass, though, ain't he? I mean, his girlfriend died. I mean, but come on now. I get his girlfriend died, but you can't go behind the cops back and start investigating and acting stupid and involving everybody. True. Wait, that. was you that dumb in high school? For real? No. That's what I'm saying. No, but I'm just saying I feel remorse for him because his well, yeah, girlfriend died. Yeah, I feel bad, but he's still acting dumb. Yeah, that's not creepy. <laughs> I mean, what exactly are we supposed to be looking for in this shithole? We're not sure. We just know this house is important to Becky. 
Because Max thought in Vecna's red suit mind world? Basically. All right. Maybe he holds a clue to where Vecna is, why he's back, why he killed the Creels, and how to stop him before he comes back for Max. We don't think he's in here, do we? Guess we'll find out. Right. Max, you brave. Yeah, she's brave for even being there. <laughs> Sorry, that jock guy's getting on my nerves. Uh, he's just so bound in his Herman and bald everyone. What are you doing in here, Max? It's locked. Should I knock, see if anybody's home? No need. Nope. <laughs> I found a key. This is so creepy. The Ghostbuster. Mm -hmm. They just left everything. I guess a triple homicide isn't good for resale value. Hey, guys, you all see that, right? Yeah. That's the clock right there. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's a constant. This, what you saw in your visions? I mean, it's just a clock. What if it's a portal? What if you move it? Just stop making predictions. Like a normal old clock. Why is this wizard obsessed with clocks? Maybe he's like a clockmaker or something? Think you cracked the case, Steve? Right, that's how we sound. All I know is... <laughs> Maybe it's a the portal. The right here. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? If you move it, I don't know. Okay, everyone stay in groups of You two. mean a secret Robin? door or something? Yeah, maybe. Oh, a portal has like a whole supernatural element to it, though. Yeah, but it's just a crack. The portals are cracked. This show does have portals, so it's all good. Why'd you sigh? I didn't sigh. Just come on, dude. I heard you. Well, we're just always partners, okay? What, you have a problem with that? It'd just be nice to, you know, I don't know, fix it up a bit. So what, I'm boring you, is that it? No, it's an opposite. Hey, Yuri. Are you flying? I need to take a piss here. Just give it up. He can't hear you. I really do have to go, Joyce. This isn't some ploy to escape. He can't hear. What? <laughs> Joyce, what are you doing? Joyce. The leg is too short. Can you grab that shard with your foot? Oh, oh they're about to jack him up. This through first. Peanut butter was in what glass for them. Talk through. We cut our binds. We break oh, free. No. Yes. Okay. Then what? Then you take him out. Take him out. You know karate. You said you were a black belt. We're ten thousand feet in the air, Joyce. I take him. Who flies this plane? All right. So don't knock him out. Just get his gun and make him turn us around. Get his gun, just like that, huh? Is black not the highest color? Yes. I've never fought in a real world scenario, okay? <laughs> I've only sparred with the other students. How old? It doesn't go under than 13. <laughs> But Jeremiah is 16, almost. His birthday is next month. And, and Jeremiah 15. is a ferocious fighter, lightning fast, very skilled. <laughs> and I beat him that one time. That one time. Certainly, Yuri is not trained or skilled like Jeremiah. So yes, I can defeat Yuri. Absolutely. Thank you for talking it through. I feel much better now. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, God. He thinks he can beat up a Russian smuggler. <laughs> yeah, but when he's flying a plane, that's the scariest part. <laughs> Oh no. She's basically in the back rooms. Mm -hmm. Well, well. Uh -uh -uh. Who finally decided to join us? Someone's a sleepyhead this morning. Isn't that all the kids she killed? It could be. I don't remember. I don't remember what they look like. But I mean, I'd imagine, yeah. It was just in that room. Stop waiting. Focus. Listen. Remember. I don't understand! Well, well. Who finally decided to join us? Someone's a sleepyhead this morning. Focus. Listen. Remember. Well, well. Who finally decided to join us? Someone's asleep sleepy yet this, this morning. I'm sorry. Am I in trouble? Trouble? No, why do you think that? You're just missing out on all the fun. Training starts any minute now. Okay. Hey, there's nothing to be nervous about. You're going to do great today. I just know it. That was weird. Good morning, children. Good morning, Papa. How are we feeling today? Good. Number 12, would you be so kind and open the door? Yes, Papa. Oh, wow, that's the one right after Please, you. Please, uh -huh. follow me. How's she doing? Very well. She's swimming now. Good, because I just got off the phone with Stinson. We don't have much time. Well, then she'll just have to swim faster. I know it's annoying when I make predictions, but are they trying to get her to relive that day that she blew up on everyone so they can, like, 
record it or something? I don't know, something like that. Or maybe that's like her most traumatic moment in her life. Like they can like use it or something. 202-968-6161. Yeah. They're little detectives. Is it ringing? No, no, it's just making a bunch of weird noises. Oh my God. We're not calling a phone. We're calling a computer. It's crazy there's a phone booth out there. a computer like Joshua or Owen's lab, but unknown here age man, he gave us access to it for a reason. We just need to find the computer. We find Owens. Then we warn him. Then we warn Eleven. Oh, goodness. I just need a hacker. The only hacker that I know lives in Utah. In Utah? Salt Lake City, to be specific. Susie? Mm -hmm. You can't be serious. Well, if we take the I-15 North, we'll get there by morning. <laughs> oh, you're being serious. He just serious. hits it real quick. I know it sounds insane, but Susie saved the world last year. And maybe she can save it again. Yes. I could use another Susie scene. But we get real life Susie this time. Uh-oh, you better run. The high school detectives on you. Yeah, they have their funeral outfits on, so. I mean, I get he's upset about his girlfriend, but all I'm saying is stop trying to pressure everyone else to go to prison over you. If you got a problem, go handle them yourself. So what are they gonna do, kill Eddie or just beat him up? I guess the idea is they're gonna capture him and hand him over to the cops. Looks like Rick's had company. It's him. Hey, uh, oh, anyone's shoot. there? I really think I might be in a bit of trouble here, okay? Wheeler? Anybody? Hey, uh, Henderson? Yeah? Could you maybe, uh, clarify what sort of clues we're supposed to be looking for here? The world is full of obvious things <laughs> which nobody by any chance ever observes. He sounds like Sherlock Professor Holmes. X. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. That's great. Really helpful. Sherlock. Oh, that's so weird. Like witch jars? The oh, spiders. Some spiders, yeah. That crawled out of the clock. Ah! Oh, heck no. Uh 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 uh. Oh, what's wrong? It's a spider. Oh, yeah. It's a black widow. Natasha. I wish we had a longer loop. 46 minutes isn't bad. I think there are bigger concerns. Like, what if by listening to this over and over, I get sick of it? Suddenly, it's not my favorite song anymore. Will it still work? Or will Kate Bush, like, lose her magic power or something? Kate Bush? Never. You're a Kate Bush fan? Uh, yeah. Now I am. Really? Yeah, mega fan. She, she saved your life. <laughs> Besides, we're hot on this creep's trail. We're gonna find Vecna and kill him before he even thinks about messing with you again. All right? In fact... I bet if we hit these suckers in the right combo, we might just open a door to a secret lair. Yeah, you actually Quit might. playing, quit playing. You're such a dork. I thought you were like one of the cool kids now. I'm not cool. <laughs> I've really missed that. That missed scares what? me. <laughs> They're a laugh. That they're like becoming close again. All done. Work your magic, Kate. You're seeing that, right? Mm. Yeah. They are so brave because they could be right out that door. Who's this? Stop. Very good, too. Very Ooh. good. Now, which brave soul would like to follow that? I want to know who Patient X is. <laughs> Oh, they want some taffy. That's so sad. Remember to stay focused. Find the energy. Feel it. How would he know? You know what I mean? Maybe he's one of them. Maybe he, like, graduated. <laughs> Why does he waste so much time with her? Hey, quiet. They're laughing at you. They think you're weak. Show them 11. Well, no wonder she killed him that he's planting that crap in her mind. Yeah, that's pretty good. But it was, I feel like it was accidental, though. I don't feel like it was on purpose, but you know what I'm saying? What? So this is after she killed everyone, probably. I thought she did it by like an accident though. Like her mind like just was too strong and it just got the whole room. Probably what happened. Ooh, I don't know. What is happening? She's going into rest. Okay, 
That's enough. Pull her out. Pull her out. Brenner knows she's strong, though, doesn't he? That's why he's like. Well, Brenner might not care about her, though. But this is a world saving operation. He might. He might be trying to push her. Oh, shoot. Not deeper. Did you fall out of your nest? Where do you think you are going? Oh my god, don't shoot in there. You are fragile cargo. You can still break. Not if I break you first. Let's see it. My fingers are like arrows. My arms like iron. My feet like spear. Oh, he's hitting the karate kid. Resist and I will end you. But turn this he's plane like... around <laughs> and I will spare your life. I love Joyce's reaction. I love Joyce. <laughs> Dang. Oh, that autopilot's crazy on the I know, planet. especially in the 80s. <laughs> Murray with the flurry, boy. Let's go. Pouring it on. Ah, it's like Rob beating up on no. the planet. Oh my God, I'm going to throw up for them. Come on, Murray. <laughs> what the heck? Good job. Oh. We really need hop for these times. My fingers are like arrows. Yeah. Who's gonna fly the plane? Murray. <sighs> A gong ring? <laughs> what? I said don't knock him out! Yeah, who? <laughs> I thought you didn't know how to fly! I know! He just turns everything off. He's a free fall now. Ah! Please! Oh my god. At least he's not over the ocean. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, they're so on lucky. ice, though. Sliding on ice. That was snow crazy. <laughs> down the lights came to life Agnes here in this house Just maybe they have the to like burn side. the house down or something yeah bury it and pour some salt on it and then catch it on fire like on supernatural left the room. did he hear us can he see us headphones wait wait everyone turn off your flashlights spread out I'd be like hell no Nancy <laughs> come up with another plan Nan, yeah, come on I got him got him what oh, I got him you got him I, I, I had him Oh. oh, oh, I think he's moving. He's moving, he's moving. You know what I'm really not trying to see? What? I don't want, I don't want Vecna to come mess with Dustin. I don't think he can handle it. I lost mm. him. No, you didn't. It's an attic. Of course it's an attic. Hold up, guys. What are you leading us into a trap? Guys. Right. Guys. He's not here, seriously. Shut up and keep looking. Mmm, the pool house. Dustin, please. Are you there? Man, you better hop in that damn boat. And go, yeah. You better get the skipping. He's gonna be like... Like me. <laughs> oh. If that happens to him in here... They're gonna oh think that guy's cursed for real. Yeah, he might stop chasing them. He might and start like, working oh, with them. Yeah. Holy shit. Hey, Frank! Where do you think you're no. going? No. Oh, Go, Eddie. Use the motor. Oh, he's about to Michael Phelps his ass. Yeah, use the motor. Oh, scared us to run yeah. He's like, I'm on the varsity swim team. I'm gonna be out here, man. Come on. Ah! Come on, you piece of shit. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying, bro. Don't jump in the water for him. Nope. Okay. Swim. Swim. Go. Go. Paddle. Hit him with the oar. Hit him with the oar. Ah! Don't. No. They're too fast. 
You know how he just heard that clock though? What if Vecna is like active and is about to get that guy and he's in the middle of swimming and he's gonna get like- He might. As long as it's not Max. Flashlights. Okay, what's happening? We watched this show one month too early. This would be great for Halloween. Yeah, this is a spooky, spooky little show. The upside down. Mm -hmm. <gasps> is he napping? When he comes down from that thing, he's always like, it's time. <gasps> I don't think that brother realizes how hard he'd get smacked in the head with my oar. Yeah. Stay back. Yeah, Stay you better. Back. Hey, come on, let's go. We almost have him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, oh, Patrick. no. Patrick. Patrick. Swim away. Swim away, hey, Eddie. Hey, Patrick. Patrick. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's the believer now. <gasps> what? See. Oh my gosh, they can't even help this kid. Air. Get some air for Christ's sake. It's okay. It would take time to adjust, but you're safe now. Uh oh. Bah! Yes. Elle says she ain't taking it from these bullies no more. I'm tired of it. I'm she, said, she said she's on sight. I'm tired of Papa's. Mm. You okay? You stuttering over there? Need some water? No. Give us quite the workout. You really want to do this? Oh, there we go. Whoa. Man, I need to leave her alone. There she blows. That's what she would have done to that bully. She got off easy. She really did. Elle just did a disco in her head. That's about it. Stay away. I said stay away! You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Mm. I don't understand. I do. That's the door. Go. You better go. Papa. Daughter. She must really want her powers back or something. You hear that song? Maybe that's Elle's song. Crazy episode, man. So, uh, the jocks ran down your boy. Uh, he's a believer now. So that guy got murdered right above the lake and they're probably going to spin it as a drowning or something. They're probably still going to blame him. But right. once again, that's what I was trying to say the whole episode. Him, he's so bound and determined to try to go serve justice that he's going he's gonna to end up getting his friends in a bad situation. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah, exactly. Crazy episode. You but think? I think his friend was cursed before because even when they were in the in the car, his friend had nosebleeds. Like, I don't know how his friend had Vecna's curse on him. Right. Right. Vecna's curse is really interesting because it has so much I similarities still think it's to. The guidance counselor, but I don't know. It just has a lot of similarities to A Nightmare on Elm Street still. Even the fact that Vecna's hunting down all these kids and stuff, just like on A Nightmare on mm -hmm. Elm Street series, so that makes it really interesting. Eleven is basically back in boot camp or something, man. She's trying to learn how to use her powers again. Dr. Brenner's continuing to just torture her and... With that same memory. Right. I don't know in the end, like, what's the issue here? Is she brainwashed at this point or does she just realize that the only way she's ever going to get her powers back is to... Like, take care of that Because if she, if she had been able to do something to Brenner Right there with her psychic abilities maybe she would have walked out the door right. but maybe she realizes that she's useless without him and mm. she knows what's out there and she knows how important it is to be able to help her friends yeah so so she's gonna endure i guess whatever he has coming for her with that right vecna's creepy man he's so creepy do what do you think vecna's relationship to the upside down is besides like maybe he powers it or something he's just an entity that lives there that dwells but there. he's connected to all that weird stuff for what we're just gonna have to watch more i don't know all right, guys, chapter six, the dive. They ain't gonna have no idea how to explain this. Where is it? Man, how do you explain this? I know, and he's connected Where to both heavy. When that happened? Where was Eddie when you saw this? He was in, in the boat, like I said. Right. But then, uh, who lifted Patrick out the water? You're not listening to me. Why aren't you listening to me? Jason, we are listening to you. No, you're not. You're not. Eddie, he's... Eddie is a vessel. Just a vessel. A vessel? For Satan. Oh, my god. He's gosh. made a pact with the devil. Now he has his powers. That's what he thinks? You don't believe me. We're just, uh, processing all of this. That's all, okay? Yeah. 
do you expect to stop the devil if you don't believe he's real? That is scary, though. That's the thing about Freddy, too. You got to believe in him to give him power. Oh, really? Yeah. Shit. Oh, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> the Loch Ness. I really wish we had to watch all the Freddy movies before this now. There's a lot of them. I haven't seen most of them, but I've seen some. I saw one. I felt like I got the gist of it. The one you watched was so old, though, was the original. We watched it on the channel, guys. Go check it out. And yes, the whole boiler scene is missing. Don't get mad at me, okay? I had to trim it out. The boiler scene. Mm -hmm. I remember it because I've gotten so many comments about that over the last year. <laughs> I'll never forget. Oh, is he being tortured? I can make a start. I can make the pain end. Where's the girl? It's a poacher. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. There are two proposed explanations for what is happening. Explanation one, an invisible boogeyman from another dimension is slaughtering these kids. Yeah, that one, that one. Explanation two, Dr. Brennan's special little pet has gone rogue again, and he and his lackeys are now seeking to cover it up, perhaps in hopes of selling their pet to the Soviets. Oh, wow. Now, which explanation sounds plausible to you? Hmm? <laughs> There's still a chance to retain yourself, Mr. Wallace. The military thinks L is like, so the, the, the other dimension thing, that's like, you know, they're, right, they're they LOLing they, at that kind of. Right. Yeah, exactly. So they think L is the problem and they think that they could give her to the Soviets. Well, he's saying that there's a chance that she could be sold to the Soviets for a high amount of money. Oh, and he's saying shoot. that I have to torture you, brother, because they could sell it to the Soviets. So you might think I'm a bad guy, but I'm just doing what I have to do. Oh, okay. Where is she? Jeez. What happens when someone has a stroke? The blood supply to the brain is cut off. It scrambles the signals in the brain to the point where the mind can forget how to do things, to eat, to speak, to walk. When you were attacked last year, I believe that your signals were scrambled in much the same way. That makes sense. But just as a stroke victim can learn to walk again, I believe you too can return to your full power. Your abilities are still in here. You just need to remember. Everything that took place in my lab is captured on videotape. Every success and every failure. It's important for you to not just see your past, but to fully re-experience it. In doing so, I believe we mm. can repair your broken signals. I'm glad you As believe that. Tonight, that process has already begun. Yeah, so that little spark was some faith, some hope. Why don't I remember? Because you do not want to. Our brains have a defense mechanism in place to protect it from bad memories, from trauma. You buried these memories long ago. When I was in there, I saw something. There was blood. So much blood. That was another memory, a more powerful one, invading from your subconscious. You have demons, Eleven. You have demons in your past. That is why we must proceed carefully. One step at a time, one memory at a time. Is that a way they can get the powers back without fast. making her go crazy? I'm afraid you could become lost in the darkness. Mm -hmm. Or lost in the darkness, whichever phraseology sounds best to you. If you were lost, so are we all. Five. You just took five. Yeah, well, tell Milo to take it easy on the irons next time. <laughs> Dang, he almost got ran over. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good thing he stumbled upon that. Hey, holy shit. Are you okay? Nah, man. <laughs> Pretty goddamn far from okay. Where is he? Where are you? Skull Rock. Uh, do you know it? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, Cornwallis and... Garrett, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know where that is. Poor Eddie. He got jammed up, man. He really... The ultimate jam. Vecna up. did him so dirty. I know, Vecna. Jeez. We'll never forgive you for that. <sighs> this guy actually grows on me a little. <laughs> I can't feel my butt. You guys feel your butts? I can feel my butt. Everyone needs to be on their best behavior. 
Okay? Okay, why are you looking at me when you say that? Wow, I did it. <laughs> They're just really religious. Yeah, and I'm like super spiritual, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I think they're spiritual too, just in a different way. So basically, don't talk Argyle. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Argyle. <laughs> uh, we're looking for Seuss. Do you know where she is? Third floor, second floor on your left. Well, you okay. better not. She's not here. <laughs> Give her a shove. Seussy! Yeah? <laughs> we're Dustin's friends. Yeah. We really need your help. Dusty Bun? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Susie Boo. So that's so cool. She's from an orphanage. That it, makes it, her even more impressive. You know, I kind of think she's not because they're saying father. So I think that she's well, in a they weird... They don't address... She's in a weird situation. Like an orphanage? No. I don't know. Foster father? I don't know. They, when hour. she was named Eden, that means like a place for kids. You were dead. Oh, Foster is well be. <laughs> we are truly in oh, no. hell if Maybe. hell throws over. There's nothing south, but two miles north I saw some smoke. Could be a town, could be a house. Maybe somebody there knows where we can find this prison. The top secret prison, really? Right. Any luck with our friend? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Dipshit! Way to turn the tables, though. We're out of here. Last chance. Where's the prison? Told you. Yuri will help you for a right price. I told you we're wasting our time. Half the reward. 20,000. 30,000. 22. 25. All right. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a moron! <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was serious? I got you! I got you good! <laughs> There's only one thing you get if you take this deal. You get to live. You are not killer. Oh, you're right. He's not a killer. No. But see, the thing is, we don't need to kill you. We can just leave you here. Because there's nothing for miles. And no one will find you. No human, at least. I saw tracks. Mm -hmm. In the woods, Yuri. Bears. Bears. Big old bears. bears. Russian bears. bears. Future. Shall we fly out of here, little bird? Bye-bye, <laughs> ah. Yuri. <laughs> Wait! You should go east, not north. My warehouse is there. Supplies, guns, truck. We will need to reach prison by nightfall if you hope to save your friend. That is if he's not already dead. <laughs> I still wouldn't take him. He's so tricky. Yeah, he knows the woods. That would stress me out. He'll lead you anywhere. <laughs> the craziest part about this prison is they have to sit outside in a cell when it's cold. Yeah, it's terrible. It's like double sucks. What are you waiting for? Go on, come on! Not today. That's crazy. I thought they were gone. I thought this was about to be turned into some Purina. Maybe tomorrow it is. Am I dreaming American? Or is this real? What is going on? They're, they might be feeding them, so they're like nourished for that thing. I don't know. Right. Are they engaged in some type of psychological warfare? Or that. Mm. No, that food is poisoned. You own you need to do. Isn't it right, Curse One? You have lost your spirit to live. Yeah. No, something like that. If they want to kill us at night, why do they want us to be able to kill us? They want us to be able to kill us, to get the power, to fight this kind of war. In the last few days, the boys gave us weapons. They ran away like dogs. We'll stand together, huh? That's what I was saying, though. Maybe they can use it to escape. This zvi is about nine feet tall, thin, white skin. No face, no hands, no legs. This zvi is about nine feet tall, thin, white skin. No face, no eyes. Давай, 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 переводи. Этот сфер три метра ростом, белый, без лица. How do you know American? А ты откуда знаешь? Because I've seen one. When you were young, I fought one. And I killed one. Your theories about it—they're all wrong. You know why they feed captive predators live prey? Because if they don't, the predator gets bored and it stops eating. It needs the thrill of the hunt. And this food—this food isn't to make us strong. It's to uh, make us plump. <laughs> mm. So we're full of all the nutrients and protein that a growing monster might need. I'd still eat it though. Boy. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so I mean, up, yeah. Boy. Enjoy. This is your last meal. Yes, yes, yes. Didn't he call it Baba Yaga? Like John Wick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which number are you aiming for? Three. You know, sometimes it's helpful to take a step away for a moment. Let the mind clear. Determined, aren't we? You know, you remind me of someone. Someone I used to know really well. Can you guess who that is? 
Number what? one. Papa said that he doesn't exist. I know. Why would he say that? But can I tell you a secret? Sometimes Papa doesn't tell the truth. He's probably he number one. With one, right here in this very room. Where is he? Maybe we'll save that story for another day. It doesn't have a happy ending, I'm afraid. But he was a lot like you. Everything was hard for him. Then out of nowhere, he walked in here, and it was like something had changed. And I asked him what's different, and he said he had figured it out. He had found his strength in a memory from his past, something that made him sad, but also angry. Do you maybe have a memory like that? I bet she does. Do you remember the day a strange woman came to see you? This would have been when Eight was still here. The woman, she was calling a name to you. Jane. That? Mama is dead. She died making me. And who told you that? Papa. Who doesn't always tell the truth? This place and the people here are not what you think. Good morning, children. I've got something oh, he was suspicious very of that. special plan for you today. Are you ready? Yes, Papa! Good. 17, would you open the door? Yes, Papa. Off you go. This is getting so ominous, dude. I'm loving this This guy's right so now. creepy, this I guy. Know. He is like such a smirk, that's so creepy. What happened to number one? Yeah. Subject X. We should have just told her the truth. And risk everything? No, she'll find out soon enough. Dude, I'm telling you, you're taking us the wrong way. It's north. I'm positive. I checked the map. So you're telling me you bring girls out in the middle of the woods like that? We're going this way yeah, now. that's not scary at all. Without like a trail lost. built in? What happens every time I want to go off the trail? You say what? Hey. Spiders. <laughs> you okay? Uh, yeah. Do I? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's like everyone Vecna targets has something in their life. S something that's... Hurting them. Well, he's going to be targeting everybody then. Haunting them. Yeah. I didn't really know Patrick, so it was easy to just look the other way. I guess, but I did know you, and I'm sorry I wasn't there. It's not your fault. No. I disappeared. Oh my God, they're so adorable. I just want to squeeze them, you know? <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. There she is, Henderson. Go rock. In your face, man. In your stupid, cocky little face. Doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah, even with it staring you right in the face, you can't admit it. You just can't admit that you're wrong, you little butthead. I concur. You, Dustin Henderson, are a total butthead. Jesus, we thought you were a goner. Yeah, me too, man. He'll never get to graduate, not with these mm -hmm. accusations. He's was done a good job keeping his shirt clean. It was his mm -hmm. trailer where Chrissy was killed, and you expect us to believe he was made a suspect just this morning? The truth is, we've been following several leads, and yes, Eddie Munson was one of them. And we are now doing everything in our power to find him. In the meantime, for your safety, we will be enforcing a strict curfew. Yeah, that's your solution? Hide from him? That. It's been days. Days! I understand you all are upset, but I promise you, we will find him. No! You won't! Here we Jason, go. son, how about we talk about this in private? Why? So you can keep me quiet? So you can keep the truth from coming out? Look, I don't know about the rest of you. In fact, I think we've all had enough. The motivational speaker. Hell yeah. We're down 11. He just picks up the mic. Last night I saw things, things I can't explain. Things the police don't want to believe. And things that I don't want to believe myself. But I know what I saw. I know. And I've come to accept an awful truth. These murders are ritualistic sacrifices. We've all heard about how, how satanic cults are, are spreading through our country like some, some disease. And Eddie Munson. Oh no. He's the leader of one of these cults. A cult that operates right here in Hawkins. The mall fire, all those unexplained deaths over the years. Some people, they, they say our town is cursed, they just don't know why. Now we do, now we know. They call themselves Hellfire. What are y'all just sitting around for? You heard the kid? <laughs> Dang, they got the whole town mad. So what's their parents gonna do right there? I want you all to hear me loud and clear on this. Anyone interfering with this investigation will be arrested. Hey, hey, we will be implementing a curfew. So if you are not in your house, after sunset with the doors locked. He probably thinks they're working with him. Okay, that is a lot to process. I mean, that might be seriously the craziest thing I've ever heard. I know, it's it's hard to believe. But it's true. It's all true. I dial into this computer and find a location, and at this location is the Nina Project. Exactly. And the Nina Project is the code name for a video game. Well, no, it's not just a video game, it's a video game console. It's basically America's answer to Nintendo. American Nintendo. <laughs> 
That's a <laughs> stupid name. You're right. It is a stupid name, but Susie, it's 16-bit. 16-bit? Why have I never heard of it? Because it's top secret. That's why we're doing this. Yeah, right. It's for, for the promotion. The first people to find the secret location receive a... Uh, American Tendo? Uh, an American Tendo. So you drove 3,000 miles over your spring break so I can help you get a new video game console no one has ever heard of. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's not and for us. Dusty button? It's for she Dustin. has a picture of him. Right, exactly. It's for Dustin. It's for Dustin's birthday, actually, which is... Um... In two months, three days, and five hours. Can you help? I would do anything for Dusty Bun. That's so cute. And Dustin's not even here and we get to see Susie. Mm -hmm. Good luck. So they didn't get their parents involved oh in everything. God, sure, I tried calling you guys, but uh, my walkie was busted and uh, drenched. So uh, I did the thing that I do now, apparently. I ran. Do you know what time this was, the attack? Yeah, no, I, I, I know exactly what time it was. My walkie wasn't the only thing that got so. 927, same time our flashlights went kablooey. Wow. So now we just need to sneak into his lair in the upside down and drive a stake through his heart. If he even has a heart. I say we chop his head off. Yeah, I'd say all of the above, but we can't do any of that until we find a way into the upside down. We need Elle to get her powers back. Everything was like way easier. We had this girl, <laughs> she had superpowers. Superpowers, yeah, you mentioned her. I was right. Skull Rock was north. Seriously, you're serious? Mm -hmm. This is Skull Rock, mm -hmm. okay? You're totally, absolutely, 100% <laughs> wrong. Right now. Yes and no. Oh my God. This compass worked correctly when we left the wheelers. It was correct when we got in the car on Curly, but it started to slip the further east we went. Now, it's way off. When I was leading us here, I wasn't wrong. The compass was, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Lucas, do you remember what can affect a compass? An yes. electromagnetic, electromagnetic field. field. In the presence of a stronger electromagnetic field, the needle will deflect towards that power. So either there's some super big magnet around here, or there's a gate. There's a gate, yeah. But we're nowhere near the lab. But what if somehow there's another gate? A gate that we don't know about. It has to be smaller, way less powerful. Snack size gate. How? Why? No idea. In the trailer, All right? All I know is that something is causing this disturbance. And the last time we've seen anything like it, it was a gate. And I hope it is. Because then we'd have a way to Vecna and a shot at freeing Max from this curse. This little steel capsule might be the key to saving both Max and Eddie. What say you, Eddie the Banished? I say you're asking me to follow you into Mordor, which I'm totally straight with you. I think it's a really bad idea. Good thing we watched that movie, huh? Yeah. But, uh, the Shire, the Shire is burning. I hear the music in the background in my head. Do you hear him making horse sounds? Mordor it is. <laughs> He said, what is Mordor? <laughs> Today, we are going to play a game. The rules of the game are quite simple. Stay in your circle. If you leave your circle, you lose. He's playing like a Mr. B's game. Now, even though we are going to be competing against one another, two, six, I don't want you to approach this any differently than one of our tests. Now, huh? this is very important. If you allow anger or emotion to invade your thoughts, you will fail. I promise. Do you understand? Yes, Papa. Mm, this is so like a survivor practice. challenge. Begin. Ow. Very good, too. Number six, please. Take a seat by the door. The psychic game. Who do you think is gonna win this? Eleven. Five. He's whooping everybody, huh? Right. Let's go, Eleven. You got him. He's the champ. That's kind of not fair, though, because that guy's either really warmed up or he's tired. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Begin. Let's go, Eleven. You got this. Anger. strength and a memory from his past. Something that made him sad, but also angry. When her mom came to get her. Mm -hmm. Ooh. She gets the belt.
Good job, Eleven. Oh, she was just a nugget. It looks like we have a new winner. That ominous guy, I feel like he's gonna help her escape or something, right? Like he's gonna end up being a good guy. Yeah, like better in her mind, because he's in her mind, obviously. Yeah. Someone has been in my peanut butter. <laughs> weapons. Where are the weapons? They're probably seized. Oh, Jesus. Hey, not in a church. You like all this? Uh, wait until you see my flamethrower. We don't have time for show and tell. We need to get going. Keys, map, let's go. So, prison is here, between these two mountains. Approximately two hour drive. I don't see anything. Because it's not on the map, but it is there. You want to break into deadliest prison in all motherland. It is suicide. Who said anything about breaking in? <laughs> Today, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, I see now. I bring you in as prisoners and then set you free inside walls. It is risky, crazy. You'll still probably die, yet I like it. Which is why from here on out, you're gonna be Murray. And I'm gonna be Yuri. Good you don't thing have to worry knows, about nothing. Good thing he knows Russian, right? Right. You want to make a fool of yourself? Go ahead. But to bring down this man, leaving them with no hope. What is the purpose of that? I tell them the truth. You feed their delusion. Mm. Not delusions, hope. I believe we can fight. I believe we can win. Mm. I have a son, Mikhail. I cannot leave this world with him believing his father is a traitor. I need to get back to him and I will get back to him. Is he slow? What? Mikhail, your son, is he, is he slow? Is he stupid? <laughs> well, he's very smart. Oh, their plan is to fight or something. <laughs> you a drunk American. Hey, fight. Your son, not your son. <laughs> and your wife. <laughs> They're so good at that at this point. Overtake the guards. Maybe the plan didn't go according. Accordingly? I thought that was about to beat up all the guards, didn't you? Еще раз такое устроите, и мы вас пристрелим на месте, уроды. You're happy now, American. He stole some keys. Was that worth it? Huh? Was that worth it? We call it a demogorgon. I don't know how they got here, what the hell they're doing with it. Everything I said about it is true, except it has one weakness. Fire. Oh. It's fire. So I still a I want a shot at killing this thing. I need some fuel. Oh. I need something to light it with. There you go. Yes. So you asked me if it was worth it? To answer your question? Yeah. I think it was worth it. You crazy American, you crazy. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I like their relationship kind of. Don't make me laugh. Kind of. broken, make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Hopper makes a good Russian, don't he? Yeah. Cornelius? Cornelius? Cornelius! Wait, where's Argyle? Sh I, I don't know. And three, two... Oh my god. Way to go, Cornelius. Away, you moody rogue! Away! <laughs> and we're in. Holy sh... heck. Oh, holy heck, you did it. Hold your applause, I don't see an address. Office, try office. What is all this? <laughs> What's happening now? I'm running the IP through a geolocation software, basically a form of data mining. Bingo. Nevada? Can you print this? No, my skills end at IP geolocation. <laughs> Does the moon orbit the sun? <laughs> <laughs> you were being sarcastic. Yeah. These kids are gonna drive me in the loony bin. Uh-oh. Hi, Father. You look like you need a nap. He's like, who are all those kids? Slow down! Dustin's right. You're a certified genius. I think we just spooked a skunk. Hey, Pete. You copy? Yeah, copy. Found their station wagon hidden up by Skull Rock. No sign of them, though. Skull Rock? Yeah. Isn't that a make house plan? And it's also a stone's throw from Lover's Lake. The hell they want to go back there for? No way to find out. Hold tight. On our way. Oh, no. Something's happening. Dustin? They must be right up on top of it. Slow down. I think we're getting close. Watch where you're going. Oh, man. You gotta be shitting me. Yeah. I thought these woods were familiar. Lover's Lake. This is confounding. There's a gate in Lover's Lake? Whenever the Demogorgon attacked, oh, is that it the always bottom? left an opening. Maybe Vecna's the same way. Yeah, only one way to find out. Thank you. Yeah, that works too. You got it. Wheeler? Thanks. Hey, hey, hey. Trying to sink us? <laughs> this thing holds three people. Tops. Okay? 
It's better this way. Okay, you guys stay here with Max. Keep an eye out for trouble. You keep an eye out. It's my goddamn theory. You heard Nance. Who put her in charge? I did. Compass. Yeah, no they kids need allowed. him, though. Yeah, He's I the know. brains of the operation. But they're kids. They didn't want to take them. You said three. Sorry. <laughs> Almost. What if L didn't kill everyone? Like, what if Papa did? Or, or Vecna or something, because remember, L had those eyes. That's the one who was talking to L, right? You shouldn't be wandering the halls. It's against the rules. Man, I better back You're up. Not safe. You shamed me today. I, I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt you. You are weak and pathetic. I was holding back. And then you do that before everyone, before Papa. Papa. <laughs> and you just bucked at her and she fell. How'd that feel? Did you like that? You light? Nope. I don't. Something must have happened to the power. I don't know, man. Maybe she does snap. Yeah, maybe. Tell Papa we did this. We will kill you. Evil. So they try to impress Papa. Yeah, I guess so. Poor baby. Uh-oh, that sounded like a disembodied distant screen. The eyes. What have you done? What have you done? Take easy, easy. Deep breath. Take a deep breath. You did well, Eleven. You did very well. I know what happened now. Killed them, didn't I, Papa? Killed them all. Okay. I killed them all. Damn, I was wrong. So where Vecna attacks a portal open, whoa. so there's that's whoa, why it's whoa, at the whoa, bottom whoa, of the whoa. lake. Slow down, slow down, guys. Whoa, wait, whoa, wait. They're stopping. What are they stopping for? Guys, what's going on? Come on, guys, talk to me. What's going on? Uh, Dustin, your your compass has gone from wonky to wonky with a capital. Ah. <laughs> Steve, what are you doing? Don't so do it, Steve. Down there and check this thing out. I was messed the hair up. Top being a Hawkins High swim co-captain and a certified lifeguard for three years, and it's got to be me. No complaints. All right. Hey, I'm not complaining. I do not want to go down there. <laughs> what do you got? You got Nancy checking out little Steve. When Steve gets so hairy, right? <laughs> I keep telling him he needs to tame that jungle, but he claims the ladies dig it. Let me see. <laughs> he's what? got a little chest here. <laughs> oh, that's what he's doing. Hey, good luck. Thanks. Why would, that's so terrifying. Why would you go down there? Steve, be careful. We don't deserve Steve, everybody. We just don't deserve him. What the hell? <laughs> that man's Dude, going deep swimming. Why would good you go Lord. there? That's what I'm saying. Uh-uh. You need a scuba yeah, equipment or something. There's a gate down there? Technically a water gate? They just learned about that in school. <laughs> <laughs> it probably happened recently in their lives, didn't it? Yeah, and the CIA did it. Go up there and tell them about it. Don't... Don't you need a breath? Where are we at, Wheeler? Closing in on a minute? Okay. Come on, Steve. Come on. They're pulling up on him. Down. Steve, what are you doing, yeah, brother? Like, what? Don't touch it. Where'd the flashlight oh, just no, go? No, no, Get up, Steve. <gasps> Please don't float to the top and get taken down. Please don't do that. That's so scary. Hold on. Steve can't die, right? <laughs> Found it. You found it. You found it. Snatch him. Dustin, you're a goddamn Einstein. Steve found the game. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Cops. Shit. Can't let him find Eddie. Stay with me. Hey, officers! Over here, I found the killer. This oh, way! Shit. That's pretty wild. It's more of a snack size gate than the mama gate, but still, it's pretty damn big. <gasps> no! 
<laughs> well, we're about to call the boys up. We'll say Steve. Oh no. Is Zilly in the upside down? Oh goodness, Beckness got him. What's this song? What's this song? Steve's? Yeah. I don't know. Let's ask the Nancy. You're not going in there, are you? Just it's probably wait here. Girls, girls, girls. What's happening? Hey there. Oh. No, 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 no. What are you doing? She said, wait. Yeah, I heard her. Oh, She's in Robin, charge. just stay. Are you kidding me? I made that shit up. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, she plugged her nose and everything. Oh, this is so stupid. So stupid. Poor Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, you're a real one, dude. <sighs> he barely even knows them and so went. Is that the house? That's the lake house? Rick, Reefer Rick's house? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got a bat. We're good. Damn. That place is intense, isn't it? Oh, oh my God. Are they killing him? Somebody needs to help him. That better not be the end of the episode. There's no way. All right, guys. So sorry I'm stuttering a lot, man. I've been taking uh, cough medicine all day. What's it called? Rob no. Robitussin. Uh, no. Yeah, well, Robitussin. But Robitussin, man, to stop from coughing. And that just got me feeling slurry, brother. I can't even say any words right now without my tongue slipping. But anyways, Steve's in the upside down. That is not good. Steve the Harry Harrington, guys, is in the upside down. I repeat. Robin, Nancy, everybody yeah, jumped down there to save him, man. So mm -hmm. that was cool to see. But we got to get my brother Steve out of there. Babe, what do you think? I... I have so many questions about this one. I don't even know what how what to even say. Uh, just uh, you know, like a lot happened, but yeah. not really, man. They're just on the trail of Victor or on uh, Vecna's trail, and we need to really finish this dude off because he's haunting everybody. So we right. got another death. It opened up a portal deep in the lake. I thought Steve's an absolute madman for even swimming mm -hmm. down there in the middle of the night. It'd be one thing if it was daytime, but they're doing this in the middle of the night. Right, so. which is even creepier. So scary, because it ain't easy to see. Once you get like 20, 30 foot off the shoreline mm -hmm. in the middle of the lake, it's really hard to see. So, wow, what a crazy episode. Mm -hmm. uh, scary. I, I think that somebody somebody's going to end up passing away in this show because yeah. they've been teasing it, but they've Someone yet important. to pull the trigger. Yes. So I feel like I, I really hope it's not Steve. Yeah. And anyway, Are you getting the vibe that Nancy and Steve are about to become a thing again? or? I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. I'm, I really can't tell because Nancy kind of set Robin straight and then Nancy gave him that. It could have been a goodbye. I don't know. Right. All I know is if you're Jonathan, you can't be leaving Nancy and Steve around each other or you right. need to just let them be. But they go to Susie's house. They get some really good information. Finally get the coordinates and the address. Susie helped out a lot. It was really sad to see her home situation because it was very hectic. Yeah. It was like, I don't know what no the idea was, was supposed to be there. I thought it was supposed to be like a like a, uh, you know, where a bunch of kids live, like a foster home. Right. But. <laughs> well, anytime you hear Eden and something, it means a safe house. So maybe the show was just trying to make it seem like there was just like some over Christian parents and they just had a bunch of kids or something. I don't know what they were trying to portray, but the house seemed a little out of control to say the least for sure. Mm. But just such a good episode, man. Um, Eddie's just going through it. Basically, the whole town thinks that Mike, Dustin, Erica, essentially everyone's involved in a cult. And that's not really the case, man. So it seems like the cops are trying to close in on them and is trying to prevent them from really handling Vecna because they're trying to get a grasp on the situation. Right. And so, they're doing it to protect Max because they know good and well that Vecna's on Max's like yeah. door knocking. Absolutely. So it's just stressful, man. We need to watch more for sure. We only have two more episodes of this show until we're completely Three. done. Oh, is there nine? Yeah. Oh, that's good, man. Maybe we should have watched them in threes. But anyways, so we got three more. So that's cool. So we'll watch the next two and then we'll finish the... Well, the last one's two hour. hours long, so yeah, we're not watching. Is it two hours long? Yeah, though? we're That's not watching that one with the, with two others. Wow, it's a crazy episode, man. We'll be back with more Stranger Things for sure. We need to hop into more so we know what exactly we talk about. Oh, let's talk about Hopper real quick. Yeah, Hopper, basically, he's screwed. I don't well, really know. Yeah, what's his up situation's with him. pretty. Like, I I know he's gonna try to burn that guy, but how big is this thing? He doesn't really know that little, just a little bit of vodka is not going to kill that guy. They had to use full fireworks before. Right. Well, that was on, that was on a whole different monster though. This is just a Demogorgon. So it's a different creature. Yeah, so true. It'll probably be enough. 
I was just thinking that they're going to use all the chaos of the Demogorgon to find a way to escape, which I still think they will. Yeah. Kind of like on The Last of Us, remember the explosion happened and they used that as a, a way to escape yeah. early on with Tessa. Was that her name? Tess? Or Jess, or what was her name? And, I think uh, it was Tess, Tess. but you're, now you're confusing me. Right. All right, guys, we'll be back more Stranger Things. Sorry, I'm just having a horrible time talking today, man. I'm just on all kinds of cough medicines and stuff. Me and Mrs. October's had the flu, so we'll be over it next time we watch Stranger Things, though, for sure. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one.